I want to talk about the reason why we have money. Um, the reason why God made the children of Israel um, pay temple taxes and um, the usage of money. Uh, um, God made the Ten Commandments when he delivered the children from Pharaoh, okay? And he gave them the Ten Commandments and made a covenant with them. All right. Um, one of the the commandments was, you should have no other gods before me. You should not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You should not bow down to them nor serve them. Meaning of that scripture, when you are totally committed to God and is one of God's children, you no longer work for the world or have other masters. You are free from bondage and slavery. God's kingdom is of heaven, and the world kingdom is of Satan. And Satan means sin, which is his property and his slaves. The children of Israel... When God made the covenant with the, the children, he told them they would see some hard times and even would be put in slavery for a time. Exodus 30, chapter 11. Ransom money. Why did we need ransom money? The definition of ransom. Ransom is the practice of holding a prisoner or item to extort money or property to secure their release, or it may refer to needing the sum of money involved. The children needed to pay off their temple taxes because of sin, and sin is the wages of death and slavery and bondage and captivity. Definition of ransom. It's holding that person captive and freeing them for money when they when they pay the money. Jesus' ministry didn't start until he stopped working as a carpenter and gave whole self to God. That's being and walking in total obedience. And that represents Jesus as being free from Satan bondage and attached to the world. When Jesus did that, it meant no more walking halfway, serving two masters. And that when he went to the desert and got tested. While Jesus was working for the world and paying taxes, Satan did not need to test him. Only when he broke free and stepped out on faith and trusted God, Matthew 17, 24. When they had caught, when, when those who went to Capernaum, those who received temple taxes, came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple taxes? He said, Yes. And when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take custom or taxes from? Their sons are from strangers. Example. They did not charge their sons to pay taxes, simple taxes. So, so it was ran unfairly and become, because of that, why should everyone else pay? Peter said to him, from strangers. Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. Neither less, least we offend them. Go to the sea, pass the hook, and take the fish that comes up first and get the money out the fish and give it to them. Jesus and his followers was free and paying taxes. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, guys. Um, the same thing is going on inside this world. We have to pay taxes on everything. And the government make us pay taxes for everything. Okay? And Uncle Sam is the government they pay taxes but they take but they pay taxes to themselves 
the president pay taxes, but he's paying it to Uncle Sam, and Uncle Sam is the government. So is it really been getting ran right and faithfully? No. How can the how can the government pay the government? So we pay for everything that is free, guys. We slaves and we work for them for free. Everything on this earth have no value. Everything on this earth was given from God. It's a, it, it have no value. Everything around you, your house, everything, everything have no value. It takes nothing to make the things because everything comes from the ground. No value. The car that you drive, they cannot man reproduce iron, aluminum, copper. They can't. Is is no man made parts on this world. Is no man made object. Everything come from a source from the ground. Everything we eat come from an animal or plant. It's nothing that man can reproduce. It's nothing that that have value that's inside this world. Everything is free. The car that you drive, zero. It takes zero value. The cost of it is zero. It costs nothing. The clothes we have on our backs, it costs nothing. The food that we eat, it costs them nothing. Everything is given from God. And everything is free. They can't reproduce nothing. And they can't lose value of money from anything inside this world. It's all free, guys. Cost them nothing. Corporations have built their business on making things and selling things. The value of making an object is free. It's nothing. And I said it to you. That's how this world is built on. Everyone is scamming everyone. Everyone is scamming each other. It's corrupt. Everyone is scamming. This, this, this whole system is a scam. And we scam each other every day. Because the value of everything costs anything. It costs nothing to make nothing. So we live our life making big business and scamming each other. I may want to build a car and I may have to go to other other companies and they might charge me. But it's still zero value because they cannot reproduce what they charge in me. Because the value of them making anything costs zero. It's zero, guys. It's zero for everything. You spend $60,000 on a car that costs nothing for them to even make. Everything comes from a source from the ground. And they make us pay for everything. The value of it is, is nothing. That's all I want to share with you guys. We are slaves, guys. We are slaves for this world. That's all I want to share with you guys.